what is up what are warriors and welcome back to another video another vlog today you've got a full day of eating but i'm gonna start with uh, a couple of the ultimate health packs these ones free literally can do anywhere natural light and cold water two fantastic things for your body and uh yeah we got pretty lucky this morning it was a ridiculous ridiculously nice sunrise but yeah i need to go and take a dip now It looks warm. Oh, it's just really not. About three degrees, four degrees F temperatures today, and water temperature is about 10 degrees, I think. And the reward. Mm. So I've got a couple of things I want to chat to you guys about. Number one is um, I've been chatting recently about kind of the thing that I do first thing in the morning has been getting up, just going for a walk. Now I've never been much of a morning person. Usually I'll just sit in bed, stare at my phone for like half an hour before I get up, and it's just it's just not a good way to start the day. It's not good for the mental health either, just to be inside on a screen all day so especially considering the lockdown i was trying to get out first thing in the morning uh, most of the time going for a walk and then there's been a few times a week now going to the beach going for a sea swim originally i was doing sea swims once a week but i wasn't getting much better at like handling the cold warming back up again despite the fact that i was having cold showers in between whereas i've noticed the past few weeks that i've been doing it three times a week instead I'm so much better with the cold, like I can come out and I warm up within the space of me driving back home, which usually would take me like maybe an hour to warm up properly. I mean, obviously it makes sense, you do it more frequently, you get better at it, but I thought that the cold showers in between, which I do all the time anyway, would have more of an impact, but apparently that sea swim, that ice bath sort of level is just that much more intense. This doesn't mean the cold showers are useless, by the way, I think cold showers are a fantastic way to get in, but just you know if you want to handle with swimming in the sea it makes sense to do more sea swimming so yeah if you're feeling a little bit down with being stuck inside seasonal affective disorder in winter is a genuine thing if you're living in places like the uk um, but you can still just get outside get some natural sunlight do something first thing in the morning um i can just from my own experience anyway, the past few weeks, it's been a game changer. I challenge you to give it a go for a couple of weeks and see how you feel. Every single day, first thing, don't look at your phone, get outside, try and get out in nature if you can do. It will do you a world of good. Right, so, Breakfast time, we have breakfast. Uh, if I don't have leftovers, I've talked a lot about using leftovers for the next meal, I will do bacon and eggs pretty much most of the time because it's nice and quick and easy. Um, but today I've also added in some prawns because I had them left in the fridge that needed to be eaten. And then I've also got some leftover roasted potatoes and courgette for some veggies and then also a little bit of carbs because I'm going to be training today. And also I'm trying to just include more carbs in general for that mass gain focus. Top tip for your scrambled eggs, if you do have bacon with your scrambled eggs, it's good quality, like streaky bacon that's kind of fatty. Cook that first, then do your eggs in the bacon fat and pan. Honestly, game changer, amazing. Um, prawns as well, relatively good for some iodine. I don't eat them particularly often. And then of course, topped with a bunch of raw cheese because cheese is life apparently. Yeah, calories for that meal are probably pretty standard. Uh, 64 grams of protein, 30 grams of carbs, and 52 grams of fat for about nine, 800 calories. So not particularly high in calories, but a lot of good stuff in there. Simple, tasty meals. I 
Right, so now about three o'clock, I've just had a bunch of app update stuff to do. We've got a new program that's been released by the time you're watching this video, which is an intermediate handstand program actually, and is not done by me, it is done by Ulrich, my good friend, the guy I teach workshop with, and a very talented handstand person. So if you want a little bit more of an advanced program taking you from solid freestanding handstand to the beginnings of one arm, then you can grab it in the app, link down below. Uh, today's just going to be doing some handstands and an upper body session, which I actually covered in full details for a slightly masculine focus in the last vlog that I did. So if you want to check that out, that is what we did. I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but here's some highlights. We are back, we got the usual post-workout. Um, this is oat milk with banana, handful of frozen berries, honey for extra carbs, a couple of scoops of whey, some creatine, and some peanut butter. I wanted to briefly just touch on um, a little bit more about the light thing because maybe it sounds a little bit strange if you haven't thought about it before, but when we're thinking about health, obviously food is hugely important, but also it's good to consider the environment as well. And I think all of us deep down naturally know that it's probably not the best to be sat inside staring at a computer all day. Unfortunately, that is what we have to do. I spent today from 8.30 to about 3.30 sat working at my computer. If you have a job, you probably can't avoid it, but there is things that you can do to mitigate it. Being outside as much as possible is gonna be one of the best options. And then filtering junk light with blue blockers um, these are the nighttime ones. I've also got some working ones that I use in the day. But all those little things make a difference. And you know, if you can get out, see the sunrise, the sunset, I think that does help a lot as well because it has lots to do with your circadian rhythm. Hormone release and lots of other bodily functions are based around circadian rhythm. And it's been pretty well documented that messed up circadian rhythm equals not so good results health-wise. So it's worth thinking about. And there is a hell of a lot that we could talk about uh, more so than I could cover in this video. And it's something that I'm learning about more and more. And I don't think I'm quite at the level yet that I, I feel like I can advise people or talk about it properly. I want to learn more so I can share that with you guys, but I wanted to share with you kind of what I've been doing lately uh, and, and how it's made me feel, which ultimately is, is pretty good. It's about 4.30, five o'clock now. I've still got work that I need to get on with and then I will share with you what we're having for dinner. I'm sure you guys will like it. Uh, I'll catch you. I should note that I don't mean to come off as preachy or pretentious or anything like this um, during this. I'm, I'm aware that everyone at the moment is kind of busy and struggling and there is lots of issues going on at the moment and probably people are more worried about than getting outside and getting some light. But genuinely, just, just from my personal perspective, um, it's been hugely helpful to me, as I said, with my mental health and just feeling better. Whatever the weather is, it's, it's a period of time where I'm not gonna check my phone, I'm not gonna think about anything else, I'm just gonna sit there and be present. Um, so I think that's probably something everyone could find useful and potentially make time for. It's, it's definitely worth it.
so it's now about seven. Uh, I've still got to go and do a little bit of work, but I thought I would stick dinner on uh, today. Usually I'll give you a recipe in these vlogs, but this one I'm kind of stealing off Jamie Oliver, so I'll just link to his one. Uh, it is a shin of beef stew. Uh, it's got like mustard and Worcestershire sauce. No, it's actually, it actually sounds weird, but it's amazing. Uh, I'm doing this one today with beef cheek. Uh, it's kind of a similar sort of meat in terms of texture and how to cook it as shin. Again, just a cheap cut trying to eat a little bit more nose to tail rather than the standard ones um, and a recommendation from a client as well so thanks for that one usually this would have to be cooked for like eight hours but I'm gonna cook it for 50 minutes because of a pressure cooker honestly best investment I have made in the kitchen right onwards and upwards and dinner Good morning, it is the next day. Uh, I just wanted to kind of wrap things up because I didn't end up eating until about 9.30 last night and I just, I didn't feel like doing the whole speaking thing. That meal was a super simple one that I've been doing a little bit more regularly. It's kind of one of those winter meals, something stewy. Um, great because it's an off cut, which is cheaper. I also chucked in a marrow bone in there as well for some extra glycine and some other fat soluble vitamins. As I said, that recipe will be linked in the description down below. Uh, the cheek though was a little bit leaner than the kind of meat that I would usually use. I tend to go for fattier cuts just because they taste better and that kind of fits the profile of the macronutrients that I go for a little bit higher fat. Um, but it did end up being the day we just about made the 3000 calorie mark. Um, this one was a lot lower in fat than usual, probably because I didn't have a load of dark chocolate like I'm gonna have now with my coffee. Uh, but the total for the day was 207 grams of protein, 266 grams of carbs, and 121 grams of fat. So usually I'm probably hitting at least 150 grams of fat, uh, which would definitely bump the calories up. But 3000 is still enough to play with, probably not quite enough for the mass gain that is needed. But not every day can be perfect, and to be honest with you, I don't usually count calories, I only do it for these vlogs, which is interesting in itself for me, but usually I just kind of focus on eating the right foods and the macros kind of work themselves out. But that is basically it for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I kind of wanted to share with you that whole light habit thing that I've been doing because, as I said, it, it sounds silly, but it's been something that's been very useful for me the past few weeks. So I hope it helps you out, maybe challenges you to do it as well. If you are gonna give it a go, if you have any comments you wanna share on, then please leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you just enjoyed this video, you can hit that thumbs up button and support the channel. Right next to it is that subscribe button if you want to join the Bodyweight Warrior Tribe. But that's basically been it for this week, guys. I'll catch you in the next episode. Have a strong week and...